गुड मॉर्निंग योर एवरी now in the today's class we will see the free expansion maybe this is the last topic for this topic that is energy interaction chapter in this chapter this is the last topic okay once we complete this we will look into the examples of the problems asked in the gate question and we will move on to uh, in the control volume analysis right that is steady flow energy equation all this we will see now in the today's topic we will discuss about this free expansion before that i request you guys please hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe my channel my channel name is siv academy of mechanical engineering okay now we'll start hot the free expansion is see <clears throat> free expansion let me put the heading pre expansion pre expansion see the pre expansion means it's a pre right the expansion against nothing that is without resistance that expansion is called the pre expansion means expansion expansion against nothing against nothing means there is a no resistance while expansion right no resistance this is what the pre expansion right and see this 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 pre expansion is very fast process this process is please keep the certain point this very fast process very fast process and it happens suddenly means it is a highly irreversible 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 process process i'll give you an example of this see let me in the container okay i have this is the container right which is well insulated and here i have make one partition to this container in this in this portion there is a gas right this contains the gas here when here it is a initially it is a vacuum right when i rupture this right the here it is vacuum let me write down this this is a gas right vacuum and this is gas filled okay when i rupture this as soon as i rupture the water the gas will expand right see the expansion how will this happen there is a no resistance right like this the expansion will be happen here okay there is a no resistance here okay and the gas will come inside this this is what the pre expansion you understood this initially this container is well insulated right see one more thing is important in this if i ask you a question then whether it is a uh, it is a isothermal process free expansion is or it is a not isothermal process we will see that thing also see suppose if i draw the process of this diagram on the x we on uh, temperature see this is what the temperature right temperature see the isothermal process is constant temperature process but in the free expansion the temperature is the initial and final states are same but see throughout the process in the isothermal the temperature should be constant from this is one state one this is state two right throughout this this temperature should be constant from one to two but here in the pre expansion case the temperature is coming taking a slope like this so this is a because of this this is not where is when this is not because of this this is not this is not isothermal isothermal process 
right see whether the initial points temperature t1 and t2 it may be same but this path which it is taking right so it is not <coughs> see here the q is zero right q is equal to zero the heat supplied is zero also the work done is zero right the only the u is a function of the temperature alone means the initial the internal energy is equal to the final internal energy in this case right because from the second stage that right from the first law of thermodynamics what what is for the process that is for q is equal to du plus w as in case of free expansion this do both term goes to zero the only change in the internal energy that is u initial minus u final are same so uh, from this I, for ideal gas equation the internal energy only, only function of the temperature so i can write the temperature initial equal to final but this is not isothermal process because in the isothermal process the temperature should be constant throughout this like this okay but the process what actually the pre expansion taking place this is like this okay now we'll see the specific heats what the specific heats specific specific heat see there are two specific heats right see what the specific heat is the amount of energy required to increase the temperature let me find out uh, see the definition first of this of the specific heat amount of the amount of the amount of energy required the amount of energy required required to increase or to raise to raise the temperature of the temperature of unit mass by unit by unit kelvin or celsius degree celsius right means c it is the unit for the specific heat that is joule per kg kelvin right this is what the unit for the specific heats okay means the hotter the amount of energy required to raise by one degree temperature by for one unit mass that is called the specific heat I mean, how much how much amount of the energy required that thing this is telling now for the gas for gas the cp for gas cp that is specific heat specific heat at constant pressure at constant pressure and the cv is specific heat specific heat at constant volume right this is for the gas okay you understood this see this thing we already seen the what the cv see the cv is see cv means constant volume right so if i take a piston cylinder anyways these are the stoppers here right so if the inside there is a gas if i given the heat to this right the see the whatever the heat you are giving in case of this is what the constant volume means the cv right see the whatever the heat i am giving that is just increasing the temperature uh, the the internal energy of this system not any doing work right and in case of the constant this is what the constant volume process and this is in case of constant pressure see in constant pressure is constant means yes it is moving slowly the piston is moving right because the stopper here these are the stoppers stopper so the process is constant volume process and this is a constant pressure process see if i am giving the heat and from the heat i am getting the work the see the change in internal energy that you plus work i am getting in this case the both okay in the cp case okay yeah, this thing i have already discussed in the last class okay so uh, 
so in a constant volume process in a in a constant in a constant volume process the q is equal to delta u which is equal to m cv delta t right so see what the, the uh, m uh, this delta u see this is what the capital means it is a total quantity change quantity so if i write down the for the small quantity then d small u right is equal to uh, m cv delta t right so this m m will get cancelled the final will remain that is del u is equal to cv delta t so from this i can write cv is equal to du by dt and this is the differential form of this is differential form of in the, 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 the specific heat at constant volume okay this is differential differential form right okay now similarly in a constant uh, in a constant in a constant pressure process in a constant pressure process that is q is equal to delta h which is equal to m cp delta t right and this is see this is for both for ideal gas okay that's why I am able to write this. So, M del delta H, right? M delta H is equal to M Cp delta T. So, from this, uh, M M will get cancelled. So, in, in the, the Cp, you can write as delta H by delta T. If you are to write in differential form, then you can write that is dH by dT. Okay, this is what the differential form. Differential form. Okay, you understood. Now, the ratio of specific. See, CP by hot, CP by CV. It is called gamma. Means it is a ratio of specific heats. Ratio of specific specific heats right uh, see ga gamma never equal to one this is not possible right you, we already seen that then the second law will fail will fail if the gamma equal to one so if gamma is greater than one gamma should be always greater than one okay see if cp and cv are game then cp is equal to cv okay which is not possible right it is not possible right again see uh, cp minus cv is equal to how this equation comes do you know for the ideal gas equation we are writing CP minus cp equal to equal ideal ideal gas equation See from this, I we can extract this. See, h is equal to, uh, sorry, h is equal to. Let me undo this. U plus U plus P V, right? So the differential form. If I differentiate this, then I will get dH is equal to du plus d P V, right? So what the dH is? The m C P dH. Uh, sorry, m C P d T right is equal to m cv dt okay plus change of m r t okay so the m m will get cancelled here right because m is constant so i can write see that delta t delta t also get cancelled here from this the r m r is constant i will take this from this i can write cp is equal to cv minus plus r so i will extract this cp minus cv is the r which is known as characteristic gas constant right the, this thing how comes you understood
okay now if cp minus cv is equal to r then we have two equations which those two equations that is the first one that is cp by cv is equal to gamma right and the other equation this equation number one and cp minus cv is equal to or uh, this is my second equation so from this what i can write see the cp is equal to cp is equal to i can write gamma times the cv right so from this i will extract the value of cv is r upon gamma minus 1 and the value of cp is gamma r upon gamma minus 1 okay these are the important relations which you have to keep it in mind see the cp is gamma times greater like slope also the slope is the gamma times greater right any doubt up till now i think everything is clear and also we have seen the heat transferred see the heat transferred in the pole we'll see the heat transfer in fault of process heat transfer heat transfer in a polytropic polytropic process see the pv rest to n is equal to constant right so n is here the polytropic index polytropic index the c is polytropic constant polytropic constant so i can write the del q right del q is equal to right gamma minus n here this thing i am direct writing okay just you remember these things the derivation is not important for this if you like to see this derivation you can search okay search the google and you can find the derivation but derivation is not that much important okay see here one important conclusion from this i would like to tell you guys that see if the value of this n right the adiabatic index index the value of this n is let me do it in the next slide suppose see what the equation is that is del q del q del q is equal to gamma minus n divided by gamma minus 1 del w right so if the value of this n is greater than gamma right that case if value gamma n is greater than gamma then this will term will goes negative right so what this negative indicates that is dq is minus dw what from this what do we extract from this see this means uh, the heat is extracting from the system right suppose i take a piston cylinder arrangement right uh, the work is doing also right and then the heat is also uh, see the what the minus dq means uh, minus dw means minus dw means work is doing on the system and at the, at the same time heat is rejecting from the system right see this is what the heat is rejecting right uh, it is reject means i can write this like this also dq minus dq plus dw right see the system the work from the system i am getting the plus dq means the work i am getting from the system at the same time you are rejecting the heat also is this possible think on that okay yes see in the case of this is possible in case of power stroke okay now the work is getting also the heat is also rejecting from the system you understood this this example is power stroke of ic engine power stroke of ic engine okay this thing is possible okay you understood this 
this is how we can extract the similar terms okay what we will do we will do we will stop with the today's class okay uh, and i think the energy interaction the concept part of the energy interaction is over from this class okay uh, i the every concept i try to explain you if even i forgot anything then please uh, do it your own if you not understood then ask me i will explain you and <coughs> in the last okay in the in the in the next class we will see the problems based on this okay uh, whatever the problems asked in the gate examination that we will see in the next class and later we will move on to the control volume analysis okay guys thanks for watching take care bye